I'm Thomas, and I'm about to answer the top five most frequently asked questions about Frank's F. Aptasia, starting with, can you remove Aptasia by hand? Well, sort of, but manual removal by hand without a product like F. Aptasia is nearly impossible to do without actually just making matters worse for the tank and yourself down the road. You can't pluck out Aptasia with your fingers. They're super slimy and they're just going to deflate and pull themselves into a crevice where they can't easily be reached. If you scrape the Aptasia off of the rock with a tool, you may still have small pieces left behind and those individual pieces can just regrow into new Aptasia. And to make matters more complicated, Aptasia can also release their planular larvae when they're stressed, which can spread out into the water column and settle in new places around the tank, creating even more Aptasia. The best way that you can remove Aptasia by hand is through prevention. For example, removing the bases off of new corals or frags and gluing them down to a new base before you add them to your tank can prevent Aptasia from getting into your tank in the first place. But sometimes we get Aptasia despite our best efforts, which is why F Aptasia is such a popular option for dealing with those pestuous anemones. Does F Aptasia work? Yes, it absolutely works. I am very confident in saying that, having used it myself. When used properly, it will destroy the Aptasia you've used it on and prevent it from being able to successfully reproduce, as Aptasia often does as a stress response, making it extremely effective, much more so than any other Aptasia product I've ever used. Yeah, it, it works. How do you use F Aptasia? Solid question. I'm going to go ahead and let past Thomas walk you through it. So here we go. First things first, when you open the bottle, use the stir stick to mix it up. It's pretty thick and it separates in shipping. So this is really important. Next, cap it and give it a really good shake just to make sure it is thoroughly mixed up. Now that the pumps are off, you can fill the syringe with F Aptasia. Then choose a syringe tip that's going to work best for the area in your tank that you're going to be working in. When you're ready to apply it, get the tip of the syringe nice and close to the Aptasia and gently start covering it up, starting at the oral disc, working your way outwards until it has been completely blanketed in F Aptasia, then move on to the next one. Once you're all done, it takes between 30 and 60 minutes for that blanket to harden, at which point you can turn your flow pumps back on. Is F Aptasia better than Kalkwasser? In my experience, F Aptasia has worked way better than any other method that I've used, including a number of off-the-shelf products you can get to control Aptasia, as well as DIY options like lemon juice or boiling water. I do find that F Aptasia creates a harder and more or less permanent crust over top of the Aptasia, which is why it works so well with just one application. And I found a number of posts where other reefers had a similar first time success experience with F Aptasia, with some of them also having tried caulk paste first unsuccessfully. There definitely does seem to be a difference between caulk washer and F Aptasia. And also going that DIY route of making your own paste or formula is just such a pain when all you wanna do is get the solution, apply it to the problem and be done with it. Can you leave F Aptasia in the tank? Yes, you absolutely can. Once it's hardened, if you just leave it in the tank, it's going to grow biofilm and coralline algae, just like anything else would, just like a frag disc would if you left it in the tank. It isn't caustic once it's hardened and even corals can grow over top of it. With that said, if you prefer, you can always break it apart the next day and it'll turn into harmless white sandy material that can be left mixed in your substrate. Or if you have a bare bottom tank, you can siphon it out to keep that bare bottom aesthetic. Whether you choose to leave it in the tank or break it up and remove it, it's entirely up to you. Either way, that Aptasia will be toast. And if annihilating Aptasia matches your reefing mantra, you can pick some F Aptasia up for yourself by clicking right here.